right. Hello, beer fans. Thank you for joining us today with Daniel, Kevin, and myself doing another episode of Zany Brews. <clears throat> Two never before drank beers for us. We've actually never had these before, which yeah. we've kind of been making an attempt to do, but every once in a while, we've one of us have had one of the beers that we've done. But this one is what is that one e? One, one Y? One Y or one E? I don't know. It's got to be the one E. Yeah. One, one Y coordinate. One Y IPA. And uh, this is from Oscar Blues. It is a 100 calorie hazy IPA. Uh, 4% alcohol. So this one's going to be very light, easy to drink, sessionable. I'm sessionable sure. IPA. So we'll see if it, uh, if it tastes good. It's... um. Uh, what's that song called? The way you are. Never mind. Gosh, Dante, no, go, go. <laughs> you just couldn't resist. Stay. Stay. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Stay. Stay. He just can't help himself. Yeah, man. When the beer comes out. Right, you get so, so excited. The man comes is running. The can. I'm a huge fan of Oscar Blues. They're a brewery out of, well, they have three breweries now. One in Austin, Texas. One in, I want to say, Lyons, Colorado. And then the other one is in Brevard, North Carolina. One of the coolest little towns in North Carolina. Really on the East Coast. Beautiful little mountain town where, uh, cool fun fact, at that Brevard brewery, if you've been with their company, is either for a year or like five years, might have been just a year. If you work there at the brewery, they give you like a really nice bike. Oh, like a interesting. Road. I don't know if it's a road. I think you can choose between a road bike, kind of like in Pokemon, or <laughs> the mountain bike. But That's very cool place. I would love to work there. When I, when I first started getting mm. into a lot like more beers, Oscar Blues was the big one everybody was yeah. telling me about. Like that was, that was a huge one that like, I heard from like a lot of people. It smells really good. I Ooh. would be fine working there for like Three fourths what I make now, honestly. <laughs> just, just to have the chance. I, I to just work love the culture. For a nice brewery. Some citrus. Uh, get like lemon, maybe. Ooh, yeah. Which I, which I guess maybe would make sense with the yellow can. Yeah, definitely get lemon. Yeah, it's a really pleasant smell. Doesn't really say much on here for the flavors, right? On the can. Doesn't yeah, say anything. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's like right on the right side yeah. of that line for lemon, where things start smelling like pledge, but this just smells like a little bit like fresh lemon. Sorry, Longmont, Colorado. Lions is where they have their brew pub. My mistake. They're very close to each other. And we have the loudest dog ever drinking some water yeah. right now. All right, just a shot. All right, well, Ooh. let's give it a shot. Actually, it's probably a good thing. Don't pretty, get pretty good. good. It's not bad. Yeah, I didn't, didn't get the citrus as much as I thought I was going to. So you have to bear like, in mind... It's a low calorie, low alcohol beer. We've had better light IPAs, though. I feel like it's not. I yeah, mean, uh, I could drink this for sure. It's a little disappointing. It's very, it's very one note. I think it's just kind of citrus and hops. The hops though is okay. The hops ain't bad. To me, the mouth feel kind it's of off. just isn't there. I don't know. It's just very watery. Mm -hmm. Which you would kind of expect with lower calorie. And but something alcohol. this watery, I expect more carbonation, but because it's a hazy, you get the less carbonation than you would normally expect. You know, I'm not, not this a huge fan of this yeah. one. I'm kind of disappointed, Oscar Blues, you're one of my favorite breweries, but I will not be buying this It again. says haze craze, man. It needs to stop. Yeah. It needs to stop. We need to put an end to it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with filtering IPAs. It's okay to be filtered. If you like hazy IPAs, though, we're not trying to shit on you. Uh, maybe oh, we little. might be. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Sorry. This one, man. This is flat. Like, everything just falls Let me give flat. it a 7 1. Very muted. Wow. What did I just give it? Not a fan. Like, I would rather drink that Goose Island. Probably. Yeah. Over yeah. This. Uh, it's same. close. Honestly. I don't know. Yeah, this for me is going to be a 6.8. This is lower than the bar, that's I would fair. say. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's a one. I didn't want to give it in the sixes because it's one of my favorite breweries. But that's biased. If, if, oh. if this was handed to me, I would drink it, but... I'm never buying that again, that's yeah, for sure. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. That, yeah. yeah, I give it a 6.3. It's not not great. It just falls flat, man. Yeah. In like almost every aspect. The hops is okay. The smell was the best part. Yeah, the smell's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you taste it, you're like, 
it's all right. It's definitely nothing I'm going to order again. They set the bar high with that smell, mm-hmm. and then they just fell short. But yeah, man, I was, I was the expecting. good news yeah. is we have another chance. And yeah. this one I'm really excited for. This is, was it Elysian? I believe so. Yeah. Um, split Shot Espresso Milk Stout. And do you have anything you'd like to tell us about Elysian? So they are based out of Seattle. Uh, started in 1995. They are now owned by Anheuser-Busch, like all... Good oh, craft right. breweries are getting bought out by the big dogs. they can't make their own craft beer. Yeah, so they're just buying the people who can make them. But yeah, I don't think we've had a beer from Seattle, at least while I've been reviewing with you guys. So. We've had them before. We got them up there, I think, for a pumpkin. Yeah, that pumpkin yeah. up there. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't think of this until right now. What I'm excited for, you said it from where? Seattle? Yes. Seattle's big in old coffee, right? Yes. Yes. So I'm actually excited for this. I didn't think I had until they're, like right They're now. big into like micro brews and craft Stump, brews too. Stump Sound so. Coffee, which oh, sometimes yeah. you'll see their cans of nitro cold brew. Yep. On the um, it's good stuff. Is it mixed with, is it? Is yes. It, ooh. And ooh. even better news, it contains lactose, which ooh. means it's going to be very creamy. Yes. yes. Dude, I'm, I'm excited for this. Even though I am lactose intolerant, don't really care. That's that's it's the more solids that really it. make stuff creamy. I have hi- possibly higher expectations for this one than that. I do now. I, when I smelled <laughs> this one, I had better expectations. But yeah, once I saw it was four percent alcohol and hundred calories, my expectations were kind of shot at that point. Dashed. <laughs> nice stout color. Not too much of a head there. Sorry if this is a little less. I think I got it pretty close. It's all good. Go sniff some. Ooh, that smells That's, good. Yeah, that smells, smells really good. The head is really pretty. It's uh, it's not oh, as yeah. it's not as dark as a lot of stouts we've had. It's like a Can light, you? creamy, um, not quite tan, but getting there. It's almost like a. It smells like a, a dirty dough. sand tea. Yeah, it's, it smells, <laughs> it smells creamy. Delicious smell creamy. Smell, man. It almost smells like a nitro beer would. Yeah. Or even a, a nitro coffee. I think this Wow. Oh, please. At least you don't... Let's not have two ups. Just, a coffee cheers. milk stout. You know, how could you mess this up? Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. That's good. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. It, it It's like that coffee's a little bit bitter, but then that cream sets and You it. can definitely yeah. tell there's lactose. Yeah. It's exactly what you expect it to be. Oh, yeah. That's good. Like, you can barely tell there's alcohol in that. Yeah. That is really yes, Honestly. You could even add a little bit of Kahlua or something to this if you wanted to. Ooh. Just really Peanut butter whiskey? Really elevate that. it yeah. another notch. Because I don't get a lot of vanilla out of it, so something with a little bit of vanilla mm-hmm. in this would be amazing, I think. Yeah, the coffee flavor is really nice. I'm enjoying that. Coffee drinkers, you guys are gonna love this. And of course, the pets it are. It says crazy. Split Shot combines the local talents of Elysian Brewing and Stumptown Coffee in a deliciously oh. smooth, very northwest beer. And it is six percent alcohol, and it's got a experience by date, which we met. So nice. excellent. Good. For I'm, us. I'm assuming we because got the best of because of the lactose is yeah. why that's yes. Yeah. Man, well, I like that a lot. Breweries that care about people drinking their beer fresh will put it on there, mm. like uh, Stone for their Enjoy by Beers. It's that's literally the name of it is Drink It by This Date. Yeah, there's no other beer where the name is the expiration date. That's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> wow, it's very true. Good. Also, very good marketing. Go. Yeah. Go. Um. This is going to be rated pretty high for me, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it an 8.7. Okay. That's exactly what I was going to give it. Nice. In my brain, as you were talking, I was like, 8.7. Because it's not the best out I've ever had, but I really enjoy it. And I think for the price, it's definitely worth the value. Yeah, I would buy this again. I would drink this. This would be great after dinner or with dessert After work, like after a 12-hour shift. Yeah, like today. <laughs> <laughs> a little, just a little bit of caffeine to help boost your gaming a little yep. bit. Go hit the war zone. Shout out to twelve-hour shifts. War zone, possibly, maybe. <laughs> Can we not talk about this on the, on the, on the channel, please? <laughs> we getting dubs though. Can we talk about the eats your drinks? Consistently, fuck you, other 
This will soon be a beer and gaming channel. Watch. Yes. <laughs> G3, man. G3. That's a good score you gave. You, would you, did you already score? 8.7 as we well. We both gave it 8.7. Just give it 8.7s all, all, all around. 8.7s all, all around. 8.7s all, all around. That is... Or we need foghorns. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, Thomas had that in The first <laughs> triple score on the channel. This wow. is incredible. It's exciting. It is. Monumentous. And Dante, Mon Dante ruined it. Momentous? Momentous. Momentous yes. occasion. occasion. A yes. monumentally momentous occasion. Ooh. Is English not your first language? language? No. I am <laughs> Nicaraguan, if you couldn't tell. You're all here for history on this channel. Yeah. You're welcome. That's exciting. We're hoping we could teach you a little bit today about a mediocre hazy IPA, which is low calorie. Almost so far. Yeah, definitely mediocre or less. And Elysian, I hope I'm saying that right. It's either Elysian or Elise, Elysian? Elysian, Elysian. I'm not sure. Elysian, Elysian. Those are the only two possibilities, I think. I am not American. I think it would be American. Elysian. Is the way they would want you to pronounce it, like Elysian feel. But you know what? LSI. Are we gonna do the things? <laughs> That they want us to do. No, we yeah. braise this Ellie Science trail. Stout huh. is very delicious. Anyways, eight point sevens all around for that. This one got a few sixes and a low seven. So if, if you definitely love coffee drinker, you're gonna love this. Like you're gonna love this. I wouldn't recommend I'm this to anyone, honestly. There are better alternatives for this with yeah. the same alcohol percentage and calorie. Yep. So, yeah, that three weight from uh, yeah. from Sierra so Nevada they nailed that is one, much yeah. better than this. That's its main competitor, I would say. Um, so, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this and let us know what beers you'd like to see us review next. Goodbye. <laughs>